In campaign 2012, now Mitt Romney finished well ahead of Newt Gingrich in the Nevada caucuses with Ron Paul and Rick Santorum behind them. The GOP race moves this week to Colorado, Minnesota, Missouri and Maine. Jan Crawford and Chip Reed are following the two top candidates and we begin with Jan in Denver. Jan, good evening. Well, good evening, Jeff. After that landslide victory last night, Romney has now won three out of the first five states for voting. And with his momentum and that campaign organization, it's going to be hard for anyone to stop him now. Surrounded by thousands of supporters, Romney sounded like he already was in a head-to-head -head matchup with President Obama. This president's misguided policies made these tough times last longer. If I'm elected president, my priority will be worrying about your job, not saving my own. He won big in nearly every category of voters and edged rival Newt Gingrich with groups the former speaker needed to win. The very conservative, evangelicals, and Tea Party supporters. And look at this statistic. Among voters who said beating President Obama was the most important factor in their decision, Romney won 70 percent of the vote. That widespread support even had Romney's wife, Anne, looking ahead. Now that we have all of you excited and energized and volunteering, we're going to need you again next November. But despite that decisive win, this race is far from over. Ron Paul and Rick Santorum have been campaigning hard here in Colorado and the other states that are coming up next. And then Gingrich, he's vowing he's going to stay in this thing until the bitter end.